What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is Weston Smith and today we are kayak fishing Anna Maria Island in Florida and I get on my first ever snook. Let's go. Alright guys, so we're about to take you to the ramp where John and I launched. It's a public ramp on Anna Maria Island. We just worked docks, canals, and it's crazy how accessible these places are by kayak and how the winds don't really affect you in these areas, so a fantastic place to take your kayaks if you're thinking about a little destination down there. But the big story, man, my first ever snook. I know you guys may have seen a video posted recently by us where we went out with a charter and we laid the hammer down and we caught like 20 of these things, but that was filmed after this. <laughs> so, so today's video, I catch my first ever snook by kayak on live shrimp. And I had no clue before I started posting pictures of these snook how many people want to catch this fish and it is a bucket list catch for so many. So I'm absolutely thrilled that we had the opportunity to get out and do this and in such a beautiful setting on the island, it was an absolute experience. What I'm going to do right now is take you guys to the ramp where we launched our Old Town Canoes. I am rocking the Autopilot 120 in today's video. It's a remote controlled kayak. The thing's off the chain. If you guys want to check it out, the link is in the description and we're going to go ahead and get to fishing guys. So let's get after them. All right, let's roll out. Live shrimp on deck. down crank her up so you can steer this thing with the remote right just left and right but you can also just leave it straight ahead and you can drop down the rudder and now you've got steering with the feet so now I don't have to worry I just leave this thing running and gunning yeah so now I got this thing maxed out this is about as good as it gets right here you want to throw a live shrimp or are you gonna you you want to have some fun with that for a minute all right, all right, whenever you're ready, you just holler. All right, y'all, we made it to the first spot. Devin uh, had something, I think these are like pre-rigged setups. You, you can get the swivel, there's line with like a hook already attached on it, and then they, it comes with this uh, barrel weight. I think this is a barrel weight anyways. This thing's pretty doggone heavy, so I might end up just tying a new leader onto this here shortly, skipping the swivel, and just doing a little split shot weight. That way I can detect these bites easier. Uh, but I'm gonna rig up the first shrimp of the morning, and we're gonna cast around this bridge. Some ladies were chatting it up with us the other morning, letting us know that this is kind of the snapper hole they were telling us over their coffee, so we'll see what happens. I'm going to spot lock right here until a boat says they need to go through. <laughs> Grab me one of these guys. We got the we got the selects from Annie's Bait and Tackle this morning, y'all. It's a local spot right here outside of Anna Maria Island. We got four dozen, and uh, they're lively. So everyone's been telling us to do different stuff, but we've been rigging them up just through the tail. And it seemed to work really good for Becca and I the other day, so that's uh, that's what I'm doing right now. And then this is a trolling bucket, so we got those guys in here. I got it rigged to the kayak, and I'm gonna just let that troll. John's throwing. Uh, he's he's got his fly set up, man. He's getting serious on us. So we're gonna see what he got. Uh, we're gonna see if he can attract some attention on those flies real quick. He says he'll switch over to the live shrimp once he starts seeing me link up with a few. We'll see if they bite over here. All right, first cast of the morning. There we go. Oh, oh, the drag's a little loose, ain't it? Yep, she's a little loose. <laughs> First uh, time ever hooking up with anything on this reel, guys. Okay, there we go, looks like a trout. All right, all right. Yeah, that drag was a little, little loose. Wasn't really gonna cut it. This is actually a pretty good sized one though compared to, wait, 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 wait. Dude, this might be a little snook. This might be my first snook, I'm not sure. He looks like he's got that line. Oh, it's a snook. All right. <laughs> Y'all, this is my first one ever. Nice. Okay. You know how you're supposed to hold these or no? Uh, you, can, you can lip those. You can lip these? Yeah. For sure? Oh, yeah. He's got some teeth, but he'll be all right. 
All right, dude. Whoa, yep, you gotta remember these saltwater fish, they thrash. No way. Okay, chill, hold me. Yo, first one ever right there in the shallows on the shrimp. Okay. Well, I gotta get a couple pictures of this before we get the release. All right, man, let me turn and get you guys a peek at this one in the sunlight. Look at that right there, my first ever snook. That is so sick. We're gonna give him back in the water, try and get us something uh, even bigger. I know these things grow to be giants, so maybe we can link up with one of them today, but that is absolutely sick. My first one, a new species knocked off the list. I'll go ahead and drop a like and subscribe for that one right there. Heck yes. another one out of the jar that was cool i thought that might have been a small fish at first and then it started pulling well of course the drag was extremely light as we saw but uh <laughs> i just assumed i had something real small i think he did not know that he was hooked for just a second then when he realized he, he said no nope, peace out luckily that wasn't a uh, a big one to be quite honest because if it was i would have just totally lost it what would have happened is most likely it would have taken me straight under the bridge and in those columns or it would have taken me around that dock right there and just absolutely snapped me off because i was not prepared for something to pull even that hard that's the thing with these saltwater fish man they don't mess around they're gonna take you for a ride yep i hear you all right let me get another shrimp in the water that's cool. I like snook. You can't lip every one of these fish out here. They got some sharp teeth, but apparently that is one that you can, which uh, is what I'm accustomed to. So I much prefer it, but I brought me some gloves. I brought a, I brought a gripper. I brought the goods. Oh, this shrimp is going. Oh, he's about to get smashed. This thing is, this guy is lively. Let's see what happens here on the readjusted drag, <clears throat> by the way, in my last kayak video on this area. Oh, I just got hit my last kayak video on this area i said that uh muscles broke muscles broke me off because like in, in our neck of the woods you get broke off on like the docks and stuff by uh, zebra mussels at least down in like austin maybe not right where i'm located in some of the lakes though you'll get definitely shredded by those and here we go we oh no but he stole that shrimp for sure yeah i was gonna say he actually i felt some weight on that one um Y'all corrected me, though, is what I'm getting at in my last video, because I said it was mussels, but then y'all told me it was something else. It was, uh, hmm, it was not mussels. I'll have to look for that comment. What the heck did you say it was? Why am I forgetting? Well, we've gone through two shrimp out of four dozen. And I might have, literally felt like I might have had something take that shrimp right away, but I think it's just this current. Got him. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. We just missed another one. This is nuts. There we go. We got him. We got something. Oh no, he came off. Golly, these fish get off the hook like you would not believe. All right, let's make a little move here. We're getting so many hits, but I'm not linking up for some reason. I mean, I'm getting hit every cast. There we go, got him, got him. All right, got us a little something. It doesn't feel big. Yeah, I got a, uh, this is probably what's been hitting every single time right here. This looks more appropriate. Not even sure what this guy is. Could be a lot of things after all, it is the ocean. Uh, he's doing that, right, 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 right. He's got some teeth though, don't he? Let me get these pliers. Let me get these pliers. I'm trying to get you free, bud. There he goes. Line is getting to the point where it needs to get retied sometime soon. I might try and catch one more fish on it. Probably a bad idea. All right, made a move to the other side of the bridge here. Really want to see John catch something on that fly. It looks good. There we go. Yeah, I mean, it's nonstop action. Third fish. Might have to throw this guy in his bait. <laughs> Yeah, I don't even know what this is. Oh, well, he's in the boat, y'all. Hold on now. Hold on. Hold on. He's a shiny little guy. Check us out. I seem to have come prepared for such an occasion today. This is how Weston fishes the salt water until he learns how you hold these things. There we go. Look at that. 
Yeah, he's pretty, oh, he's pretty pokey. Wow, you will mess somebody up with those things, kid. Um, yeah, so this is new for me. Let me know what this is down in the uh, comments section if you would, because I haven't the slightest clue, but he's pretty cool. We're catching the piggies, the piglets. We have found the nursery, but don't worry. I got a feeling all the bigs are right here too. Drifting down with the current. Just caught another little guy off camera. No clue what he is. I'm gonna ask Instagram, I'm gonna ask you guys. Uh, not quite sure what I've got here, but I bet y'all are gonna let me know. Interesting little dude. What the heck is this? Twist around. Yeah, thing's nuts. There he goes. Got a little bit of my shrimp too. All right, guys, I am going to switch things up. This setup right here is nice, but I wanna get some crazy fights. I'm gonna go with this lighter setup right here. This is like a seven foot medium heavy rod with eight pound mainline braid, and then like a 10 or 12 pound leader. I'm gonna do some live shrimp on here. This is the skelly shrimp, the artificial shrimp from Carl's Bait and Tackle, y'all can grab, it's brand new. Pretty sick, actually. I'm gonna get to that once the live shrimp, uh, once I go through all the live shrimp. But on the big setup, I'm gonna get rid of the live shrimp rig right now and I am going to actually tie on a swim bait. Might be a good idea to try and go after the swim bait bite while it's still early and just kind of mix in the live shrimp with it. I'm tying my leader knot, my double uni. So I just tied the uni knot with the uh, fluorocarbon, 20 pound is what I'm gonna be putting on here as the leader. I actually think this is 20 or 30 pound mainline braid on this reel too. So it's not like insanely heavy braid on this setup despite the fact that it's a 4,000 spool size reel. That is just what we happen to have on this. It's a brand new rod, by the way. It's a Fenwick. So you just pull those two uni knots together. They tighten right up. I like to give a good yank on all the line here, just every little bit and piece. And I'm gonna chop those tag ends with the cutters. And we're gonna rig up that swim bait. I'm all right. There we go, ladies and gents. The swim bait rig is set up. We were catching a lot of stuff on this the other day. This is actually brand new from Catch Co and Salt Native. This is the Skelly Swim swim bait right here and we've just got it on some random swim bait heads red just to kind of look like maybe it's an injured fish or something got a little blood popping out i got some hits on that swim bait but i think i'm gonna wait till we get through these shrimp throwing that swim bait for a minute but these shrimp are just too good and we got plenty so let's go through them oh wow this is feels different <laughs> the butt end of the rod the handle isn't like 20 plus inches might might have them yep we got them there we go First one on the lighter duty rod and reel. Here we go. What are we talking about? He's got some fight in him. Hasn't been stripping drag, so he's just a medium sized little guy. Oh, we got a flounder. First one of the day. All right, let me get that glove on. Oh, easy does it. No, 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 no. That's my leader. That's my light leader. Don't do that. Don't do that. How the heck do you hold on to these things? Yeah, those flounder are tough to hold on to. I just kind of plopped him back in the water. Those bites are hard to detect on the flounder too, it seems like, I've been having trouble. It just seems like they grab it and they're just like subtle with it, they don't really do much. And then you just kind of lift up the rod tip and realize there's weight on there. That has been my experience with the three I've caught out here on this trip. Time for another shrimp. Ah, oh, there's fish jumping back here. I'm gonna step back here a little further. There we go, got something. He swiped at it, but he missed it and got foul hooked. There we go, y'all, second one of these for the morning. See you, bud. There we go. Another little something back to back. Ooh, he got it though. Dang, that was back to back cast right there, but I believe I'm in trouble now. Yeah, that ain't coming undone. I uh, caught a handful so far, um, nothing crazy. I caught my first snip today though, so that was cool. Nice. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, that was on live shrimp. Yep, but these swim baits seem to be getting a lot of stuff's attention, so. Thank you. All right. There we go. All right, first one on the swim bait. Little guy, though. That's not what we're after. That's not what we want to hit the swim bait. Dang. I thought I might have had something good there for a second. They ain't back in this one. I wonder how much this boat is. Got some. There we go.
there we go. There we go, we got something decent now. Finally, this is probably the biggest fish of the day aside from the snook. Yep, upsizing. Got one over here. Might be the juice, look at those teeth, dude. I mean, those are sharp. There we go. I'm trying to make a story post over here, and I got a fish on. You wanna try him where I caught that snook? Might as well take him to the honey hole. I'm getting to be, getting to be lunchtime now. That wraps it up guys, fishing right where we caught that first snook. We figured we could hit that on the way out and there was no love for the rest of the live shrimp. But we had an amazing time and we have some amazing content headed your way. So do not forget to subscribe and smash the like button. We got a lot of fresh content headed y'all's way and you're not gonna wanna miss out on it. So we'll see you then, peace. Boom.